What's up, Midits? Hello, and welcome back to another Wednesday video. Today, uh, we are playing Burio Tenebrae, or Burio Tales. I was uh, contacted by uh, the makers of this game via email, and they were kind enough to send me a key uh, to it. it. It's a very interesting sort of retro VHS-style story game. It really caught my eye. And, uh, and I decided to give it a go, uh, so that's what we're playing today. I'm not sure what to call it, because initially when they released it in uh, mid-May, it was called Boreal Tales, now it's called Boreal Tenebrae, so I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. It's kinda weird when uh, you decide to change the name of your game like that, but hey, it's like, whatever. So yeah, uh, let's start a new game and see, see what we have. I don't know much about it, in fact I know nothing about it, <laughs> so this is going to be an experience. And by the way, this is not downscaled, these are the graphics. So, so far we have a gas station with a bunch of gnomes and a weird portal. And there's a girl that's filming the portal. Okay, cool. Her name is Bree. So the blocks are back. Does this mean you're back, Sarah? Who is Sarah? Okay, whoa, alright. Tutorial. Press the E key or the A button to interact with the world. Alright. Interactable hotspots will be indicated by the hotspot label in the upper left corner of the screen. Alright. Hotspots with the red color will advance the game to a new scene. Hotspots with the tail tone will produce an item. To view your inventory, press the I key or the Y button. Items are shared between characters. So there's multiple characters, alright. Kinda reminds me of um, Dreamfall in that case, where you play as different characters. So she she called the blocks. That's what they're called. Oh, okay, the camera switch is kind of weird. Alright, cool, so what do we have here? It's a moose man, a monkey man, and some people. So it's a weird human animal crossover world. Got it. Wolf cop. Hey, step away from the block, Bree. Oh, he knows me. All right. So I'm gonna go from behind. <laughs> hey, step away from the block, Bree. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna talk with him directly then. Back off, Bree. No one was allowed to approach the block until our investigation is complete. Least of all you. Give me a break. You don't have anything better to do than stand here all day. Nope. Go oh, awesome. Move along. Can I not talk to the other people? Elena. It's so beautiful. Alright, girl. Move along. God damn it. Okay, so I guess I'm leaving. Well, fuck you, wolf cop. Okay, cool, so nothing I can do there then. Ugh, I've got to find a way to get that cop away from there, even for a second. Okay, so I realized that because of the resolution that this game offers, which are kind of weird, it was cutting off different parts of my screen, so I went to a different resolution, so I guess we're gonna be playing with the, with the black bars on the sides. So I can interact with the trash here. Garbage is piled up around an overflowing trash can. I just need something, anything that will get that cop away from the block. Search through trash. Found an empty bottle. Okay, that's something. Keep searching. Got some rags. Rags. I'm at a gas station with a bottle and some rags. Time to make a Molotov cocktail and explode the gas station, dude. Okay, I think that's enough dumpster diving for one day. Man, I stink. Alright, so now I actually know where I can interact with things. Got it. So now that I have this, I gotta find a way. Gasoline, there we go. Stale gasoline pulls around the broken pumps. Does everyone like the smell of gasoline? What evolutionary dead end... Excuse me, what evolutionary dead end did that to us? I don't understand that sentence, but okay. So, over here somewhere, I should be able to... Use the racks on some gasoline, I guess. Truck. Max, an ancient truck slowly dissolves in the sun. Head home. No way, dude, I'm staying. I shouldn't leave without investigating that block. I am fucking staying, man. Payphone, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, so I have an inventory. There we go. Rag. I can't use this by itself. I need to combine it with something. How do I combine stuff? Empty Pilsner bottle. It's a good beer, Pilsner. Should come in useful. Uh, how do I... Again, how do I combine things? The bottle is filled with gasoline. Oh shit, there we go. Bottle of gas. And now the rag. Okay, I guess I do this. This is crazy. But I really need to take a look at that block. It's the only lead I have on Sarah. So I guess Bri is looking for Sarah then. An anarchist classic. I have a fucking a lot of cocktail, dude. Jesus. I need to light this for it to do any damage. A lighter can't be too hard to find around here. Uh, maybe this trash can? Because she said that that's enough uh, dumpster diving. Oh, now we have names. So this guy is named Bugslav. This is Dr. Alkis, Wolfcop, and Alina. Alright. Maybe this pile of trash? No. Alright, I gotta find a lighter. Where find lighter, man? Oh, there we go. Cat gas station. <gasps> there we go. Lighter. Ashtray plus lighter. Ashes piled in an abandoned ashtray. Beside the tray is a discarded lighter. Those always come in handy. Got the lighter. Hells yeah. It is still there, but it's also in my inventory. A big lighter. Nice. Alright. A lighter that in the grand tradition I have borrowed with no intention of returning. That is definitely how it works. There's nothing around I want to burn, but maybe if I light up something I have with me. Okay, it's weird that I have to choose the Molotov and not the lighter. But yeah, there we go. The cop can see me, I should light this behind the station. Okay. So I guess I'm going here. <laughs> run, run, run. Won't ever catch me. This seems like a good spot to light it. Should I do it? I need to light this for it to do any damage. A lighter can't be too... And now I have to choose a lighter. Okay, sure. Here goes nothing. A lit Molotov is thrown on top of the newspapers filling the garbage can. That can cover. Run, girl. Oh my god, that was the CS 1.6 bomb sound effect. Hey, what was that? Fire? Where? Okay, now's my chance to see what's up with this, with this block. Run, run, run. We are a rebel. <laughs> Got him. Alright, let's go. Let's enter the block. Ah, dude, the camera is really weird. For real block. As our prospects darken, the blocks start to appear. What does that mean? The town's death rattle metastasized into these growths. As you stare into the static of the block, the world begins to shake. Whoa. And it's an actual VHS. I can hear a payphone. Dude, what the hell? This is some horror shit. Is this game a horror game? Or is it... Or is it trying to be a horror game? Whoa, what? Dude, what's with the phone? Someone pick that shit up. What's happening? Are we playing as a different person now? Yep, that's definitely a different person whose eyes are way too far apart. Holy crap, man. Oh, it's Sarah. Damn, that's that's who Bree is looking for. Back here again. This is like April Ryan and uh, Zoe. Disc in trash. Yeah, it's just floating there, of course. Got the factory disc. Sure, this seems important. I think this was mine in the... Or... Was Sarah lost in the Boreo blocks? And I feel like that's what's happening. Alright, let's go pick up the goddamn phone. I swear to god, who is calling? Is that the gas station? That wasn't here before. <clears throat> oh god. Do you see that face? I am not about that. I don't like it. I, I hate it. Is that a... That's not a cat. That's like a puma, man. A leopard. Oh god, there it is again, the face. Stop. Okay, answer phone. 
As you place the receiver against your ear, the hiss of static resolves into a low whisper. Excuse me, but do you have a moment? Talk about that wave. I don't... There's a dark wave in the middle of the sea. I can see it growing and it's picking up speed. This is where you belong now, lost among the noise and Jet Sam of the world. What is Jet Sam? Let me know in the comments what the hell Jet Sam is, because I'll definitely forget to check. Everyone is happier that you're gone. Oh fuck off, man. How dare you. What? Who is this? <clears throat> I'm The voice is lost in the wave of static. Like, how dare you. Okay, so what do we have in our inventory? A big lighter. I don't understand why, because this is a different character, but okay. Run, Sarah, run. Enter the shop. Whoa, let's talk to Television Boy, dude. Holy crap, I love how she walks. Dude, the music, I love it. Gaio. Float long enough through the static, eventually you wind up here. I collect these transient signals, the emitted. If you are here, you must be truly lost. Speak for yourself. Three won't stop until we're together again, neither will I. Wait. Go back. Do you really think that? If what you say is true, you will need help. See, this guy is nice. Perhaps you have seen my inscriptions throughout the town. They are strewn about all drift like yourself. Make a record of them and bring it to me. I can give you power. What the fuck does that mean? The town is sick, full of static and waste. It seeps out and drips down here to be at peace. A peace so deep, it's like the dark. But maybe, maybe there is a way back. Take this. Got the camera. Oh, so I can document. If you spot my sigil, stand upon it and look for the, ins for the inscriptions. They must converge here again. Collect them, catalog them, and maybe you learn something about how you got here. It'll build character at least. Hehe. <laughs> Nice. Like, what the hell, man? Maybe it, it at least builds character. Like, I swear to God, dude. I am a little girl stuck in another dimension and you're trying to build up my character? That's great. But, you know what? Memes aside, I guess the idea of the game is that we as a species... At least that's what I'm getting. We as a species is... Um, like we're lost and uh, we are trying to make sense of everything that's happening but stuff just slips through the cracks and ends up in this dimension the boreal blocks dimension the dark or whatever and um, and that's the story of Sarah and Bree I guess am I reading too much into it? Probably. Am I right? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Let's look through some filth. Filth and debris are piled up all around. The terminus for all things unwanted. Have I always been here? Everything is so fuzzy. How did you even end up here? Like, now I'm curious. I want to know the story, dude. Alright, maybe I'm supposed to go to the gas station. Like, why did I even come back here? Also, I love how she is kind of distorting as I run. That is kind of weird. <gasps> There's the sigil! Picnic bench. Press C or RB. Rolling. How do I... Can I... I can't move the camera. What am I supposed to do? Wait. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to... Choose a direction to look at. Or not? I don't know, this is kind of wonky. I don't see any sigils, man. Can I seriously not change my camera? That's kind of dumb, man. Trust the camera, good for snooping. Yeah, that's one way to say it. Um. Rolling. Well, you're not rolling, are you? 
Am I just supposed to wait? Because I kind of feel like the static is getting bigger and bigger. Or is that just my imagination? I don't know. Okay, maybe I am still missing something. Let's uh, investigate. Severed head. Oh my god, that is a bear. The severed head of a bear lies rotting in the summer heat. Flies vacuum filled of the surface of gla glassy eyes. Blood pools. The eye blinks. Oh god, that's disgusting. Severed head of Logarius. Does thou approach to imbibe my holy blood? Then partake in our communion and drink deeply. And sure, whatever. You kneel next to the pool of blood, congealing under the severed head. The smell almost overcomes you, yet you are oddly drawn to it. The moment your tongue touches the pool, vision begins to shake. Floating through this static sea, where was I? What happened? That was Sarah. She's trapped in there, and she found something, a disc. And now somehow I have it. If there's a way to get her back, this is it. I should get home. Where are we? I mean... Is this like an easter egg? Because my character is definitely not appearing there. I can just see that. I can't interact with it. Man, that's fucked up. But I love it. I love the fact that it's uh, so low po- Okay, there it is. Long neck. My God. I love the fact that it's so low poly and low res. That just adds to the horror. I love that shit. <laughs> is someone there? Hello? That factory squeezed me, it stretched me. I don't feel like myself anymore. No signal, just static. Cool, man. Oh god, I'm going through his long neck. Thanks, I fucking hate it. Can I light him up? Also, for the record, Reed doesn't have the disc, so like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Alright, I'm just gonna go here. Man, that was a ghost. Dude, we're in the fucking Boreal blocks. Graves. Untended graves have appeared here. Just looking at them makes your head swim. Continue to look. Staring at the grave, a strange feeling overcomes you. The world begins to shimmer. Oh, cool. We're going through yet another experience. Or not. Locked door. Oh my god, I'm playing as the ghost. That is so cute. I love it. Holy shit, I love it. <gasps> There's another disc. Is that a person? Cat. I don't know why, but the cat kind of looks like a Studio Ghibli movie to me. Now it looks like Totoro. I didn't like the thought of leaving. It felt like selling out. <coughs> Was it the right choice? I'm so set in my ways now, I can't tell. So the ghost's name is... Oh god, okay, the music in this game is just not level. That's one thing that I would like to point out, otherwise so far I am super intrigued. Fusilier. Is that how I pronounce that? Fusilier, actually, is more appropriate. Anyways, who put a quarter in me? You seem a little drained. Here's a pick-me-up. Got the batteries? Hmm. You just have to remember, every choice you've made brought you to where you are now, so no regrets. I am a dead fucking ghost, are you serious? Got the Phantom DVD. Oh, we're collecting DVDs then? That's interesting. What do I do with the batteries? Wait, there, wait leave? I don't want to leave yet. The door is locked by some force. That's great. What else do we have here? <gasps> what is that? Candles. Four ritual candles stand on an unmarked grave. Can I light them up? <clears throat> I can. Damn it. Damn it. That is the right order and I shall find it. 
Damn it. I did it. <laughs> purely, purely luck. I just started doing the combinations. The sound of a door unlocking can be heard. Hell yeah, dude. But that's what I'm talking about. Enter dome. Alright. This seems interesting. Whoa. Dude, I love the aesthetic of this game. It's so nice. Ritual chalice. Upon the slab sits an empty copper chalice. Got the ritual chalice. Okay, am I supposed to do something with it? At least I can't think of anything. Alright then, I guess that's everything here, so let's exit. Uh, Alright, yeah, I guess let's leave. I don't need to be... Uzilier anymore. I did pick up everything. Alright, and now we're back here. I could go back home. But what about Long Neck? Am I supposed to do something about Long Neck? A tarnished copper chalice. It gives off dark aura. Empty. Maybe I can fill it with the blood of the bear? <laughs> I don't know, man. Damn, I really like this. I don't know. It's it's a really it's a really interesting game, but I think that's gonna be it for today's video, my dudes. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, it's very much appreciated. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game. I am intrigued and definitely plan on playing more next Wednesday. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for that. As always, all the usual stuff. Like the subscribe button, are down below in the description. Join button, bell icon, Twitter, Discord, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, Bree and Longneck bid you farewell. Thanks a lot for watching, keep being awesome, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.